I think we're doing better. I think we're doing better. KK, wake up. Let's go. Okay, now again, please look here. If Peter pays $72 to buy a watch after a discount of 25 or 20%, find the original price. Who can tell me what that is? I want to see if anybody can figure that out without me telling you. $72. He paid $72, but it was with a 20% discount. What was the original price? Jolie. Wait, I want to know the answer. That's all I'm asking. I don't care. Don't tell me what to do. I want to know the answer. Figure it out. Let's go get your calculators out. Come on, people. Oh, we got an answer right here. Tell me. Oh, oh, I know. What is it, Jolie? And what do you think? $86.40. Same thing. $86.40. Come on, let's go. What is it? Uh-oh, Ashley always knows the answer. Ashley? Eddie? What? what happened to you? Your hand. What's it got ice for? Uh, we were playing this game. The ball didn't get in the Oh, man. I hate Ashley? I got a crazy number, too. What did you get? $360. Wow, I am not doing very well. All right, so now I'm going to show you the mystery about how to work backwards. I need everybody to look up, look up, look up, because I'm not happy. All right, here we go. Now, normally what percentage do you pay? Normally you pay 100%. But today I only have to pay what? 80% of what? No. 80% of what do we know? We don't know. Come on, guys. We don't know the original price. That's what letter? X is the original. Uh-oh, now Ashley knows. What are you talking about? How is it 90? Yes, good girl. Yay. Hey, listen now, please. I, I'm not sure. And again, I'm telling you, listen to me, please. I need you to tell me where I'm not clear. If there's a 20% discount, what percentage do you have to pay? You have to pay 80%. Why is that hard? Can anybody tell me what the problem is? If you get a 20% discount, that means you only pay what percent? 80%. But you pay 80% of what? The original price. Do I know what the original price is? That's why I have an X. So I'm going to multiply X by what? X by what? 0.8. And when I multiply X times 0.8, it's going to give me how much money? $72. Come on, please write that down. KK, does that make any sense to you? Molly, does that make sense? All the eight. Right, because if you don't pay 20, that means you pay 80, correct? KK, come on now, you're a big shopper, I know you. All right, you get 20% off, you only pay 80%. Is that correct? Yeah, I know. What is the answer? 90, because we divide by 0.8. Come on, guys. So the original price was how much? Ninety dollars because we did seventy-two divided by 0 0.8. All right, let's see if I did a good job. All right, Zeb, read number two.
right? Point seventy five times what? Times X. Yes. Wow. Thank you. So final answer. I finally feel like I've accomplished something. What is it? Shh. How do you solve that now? What am I doing? Well, how do I solve this equation, buddy? How do I undo multiplication? How much? $40. Anybody else get $40? Yeah. Okay, Cole, read number three. Mm, this one's a tricky one. I want everyone to try to figure it out right now. I'm going to give you a minute. Try to figure this out, please. Try to figure it out. You're, you're going to try to tell me, Cole, but give yourself a minute. Think about it. And you can flat out say, I have no clue if you want. All right, but I don't want that. Everybody has a clue. Let's go. No daydreaming. Some of you are daydreaming. Come on, get that hurt finger moving. Don't care about a hurt finger. Uh oh. Uh -oh. The super, I be grinding with my broken hand. Tyler, what's up? I'm grinding with my You're broken grinding. hand. I like that. Did you get a correct answer yet? No. Come on, Tyler. Uh oh. Luca got it. Jolie got it. What the heck is going on up here, Ashley? Don't break your calculator. Luca, tell us the answer. Uh, forty-one dollars and sixty-seven. What? Forty-one sixty-seven. Jolie. Nine thousand dollars for a shirt. Jolie. Oh man, I'm a miserable failure. Nine thousand dollars. I did it wrong. What are you doing here? $9,000 for shirts. Jolie, what store do you shop in? $9,000. Oh my gosh. Expensive taste. But thank goodness we got someone to save us. What? You paid 225 for six. For six shirts. Oh, never mind. You high. Wow. Avery, what are you thinking? Oh. One second. No, a minute. Got okay, it. one minute. 33.75. Uh, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Yeah, I got 37.50. 37.50. 37.50 is what I got. What did you get, Tyler? 2000. Same as Jackson. Same as Jackson. What did you get, though? I don't want to hear what Jackson got. 37.5, Dr. Supa. All right, let's see if you guys are correct. Now, come on. This is embarrassing. How many shirts did you buy? Six. So please, one thing you can do, stop and listen. Hey, we got lots to do. We can take 225 and divide that by six, please. 37.5. How much is that? 37.5. Anybody else get $37.50? Yes, I got $37.50. Oh, that's what I got. Now, listen, that's after the discount. So that 3750 represents what percentage? What? 90%. So that represents 90% of the original amount. We don't know what the original amount, so that's X. KK, are you listening? So how do I solve that now, Cole? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Dancing in my room. How do I solve that equation? Someone tell me. No. Jolie. Well, yeah, what are you guys waiting on? What does that answer? Oh, 
Okay, so $41.67. Yeah, that's what I said the first time. Is that okay? I got 40 points. That's awesome. I got 40 points. All right, no, my so so again no 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 it's all right that's good all right so now i need everybody to understand if you pay 225 for six shirts you divide it by six that'll tell you how much you got per shirt right and then you just divided that by 0. 0.9 all right come on now i'm gonna have i'm gonna have molly explain number four go Stop telling me that. Read it. So you just paid $1,800, right? So you got a what? How much? So what percent did you have to pay? So 1800 is what? What's this part of the equation, kiddo? Yes. Times what? You're right, we don't know. So if we don't know, it's what? X, come on, girl. Now what? That's correct. What is it? Did anybody else get 2,250? Yeah, that's what I got. All right, all right, I'm feeling good. Okay, here we go. Avery, number five, read. Okay, so what am I doing? Come on. I don't know what you're telling me. 2,340 is the discount. What percent did you pay for that bike? 90%. 90% of what? No, 90% of what? Do we know? So it's what? X. Come on, girl. Now use your calculator and tell me what the answer is. Hey, come on, Luca. Everybody's writing these down. Let's go, guys. I'm not doing all the work for myself. Get your calculator in your hand and get to work. All of them. What? How do you solve this, Avery? Come on. How do you undo multiplication? Avery. Divide by what? Come on, I don't know what you're waiting on. Is that correct? Anybody else get 2,000? What's the problem, Avery? Come on, get on number six right now. All right. Reese, go. What is the original price of an apple if you get $50 discount, which is $1.27? I did 1.20 equals 0.80x. Uh oh, hold on. Equals 0.80x. Thank you. Now what? One dollar fifty cents. Thank you. Now, KK, are you on? Are you with me now? Are you just? I don't want you writing this stuff down now. I want you to do the problem. That goes for everybody. Does everybody agree? It's the same problems now, over and over and over. All right, Jolie, go.
Tell me. Thank you. Good. Tell me what the answer is. Say it. What's on your calculator? And what is that number? Thank you. 25,000. Avery, are you in the game on this? Avery, did you get that number? All right, so you're doing better. That's what's important. Molly, you, you got it now, right? KK, I don't. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. All right, next. Ashley, go. Well, tell me the equation first. Uh -huh. Thank you, kiddo. All right, Luca, go. Yeah, but I want you to tell me the equation. And you're not writing down the equations, are you? Come on. There, there's not, it's not always going to be this easy. The same thing over and over. Write the equation like I'm telling you. So 1080 equals what percentage of what? That's why I want you to write it down. Of an unknown. What's the unknown? X. Do you hear me or not? Mm -hmm. I want you to write that down. Don't be lazy on me. So now, what did you get when, you, when we solved that out? $1,200. Everybody okay with that? Okay. Tyler, number 10. Okay, um, so I did 0.85x equals 425. Thank you, sir. And it would be um, for 425 divided by 0.5, or 0.85. Yes, sir. Good work. And it'd be 500, $500. Is that right? Let's get 500. 500. Now, KK, you're getting 500, not just saying 500. I know, I'm writing down. Cole, all right, thank you, KK. Cole, are you okay with this? I can't even understand arithmetic. I mean, I know how to do the actual math. Yes, arithmetic. I don't know, I don't understand how you write it down in the equation. Okay, so this is what I keep telling you. So listen to me now, all right? Because again, when I say it's easy, it's not insulting, right? It's just, it, once you realize it, it's just easy, right? So you haven't realized it yet. So Cole, if you get a 15% discount, what percent do you have to pay? What percentage, not how much money. Right, that's where the 0.85 is coming from. So if you get a 10% discount, what percent do you have to pay? If you, right, right. That's right. Now you're in the game. Congratulations. All right. Now you get to read question number one on my silly worksheet. Go. So, Griffin's general school sends 30 percent of all students to Japan. Why would they pay $25? What is the original? What percent did you get off? So what percent did you pay? Oh, wait, no, 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70
Good. And what did you get? We're rounding to two decimal spots. So, um, 35.7 million. Anybody else get that? $35.71. Just because it doesn't seem right doesn't make me it's not right. Molly, good for you, kiddo. Back to Supa. Hold on one second, one second. I'll get you in here in a minute, Tyler. Okay. What do you mean? You, you have to divide by 0.7, divide by 0.7, so it's 25 divided by 0.7. No, I mean, like, I didn't hear you. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Right, right. So you could say 25 equals 0.7x. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Yes, you can. All right, go ahead, Tyler. Thank you, buddy. What? Oh, I just wanted to say I, I love your drawings. Oh, you're very welcome. It took me a long time to do all this. I know. All right, so I'm at Jackson. Go. Um, so that's 60% off, so it's going to be 24. So 24%. Uh oh. Yes. Exactly 35? Yeah. Is that correct, guys? Yeah, yeah. What's the matter? Just check your work. Check your work. In a minute, I'm going to let you go. All right, so what about the next one? Go. No, Zeb. Yes, but you said it backwards, but that's oh, okay. Uh, 0.5x equals 22. So what did you say? Uh, $44. I'm telling you, it's easy. All right. Next, Eddie. Point fifty-five. You're awesome. Uh, Anybody else get that? Good job, good job. Okay, KK. Oh, okay. So the 30% is 27. Good job, girl. And then you divide that by 0. 0.7. But 0.7, I still want you to tell me it's 0. 0.7x. Oh, yeah. And then we get 365 and 400. Anybody else get that? Yeah. Okay, Molly. How did you get that? Use your calculator, kiddo. Don't, don't worry about it. Right. Exactly. Hold on. Eight hundred what? Eight hundred fifteen dollars and. 29 cents. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. Next, Jolie. Um, so the you do 35 divided by 0. 0.7, and then you get 0. No, no, no. Now listen to me, kiddo. Don't be mad. Now I'm putting you to sleep because I just, I, I was tired of you not knowing something. So now I mix things up. You with me? You have to actually read it. It's not, it's not always the same. So I want you to read it to me. 
So you have to tell me what the discount is. So when you go to the store and you see a $40 dress or whatever you buy, why? Yeah, now you understand what I'm saying. If you don't answer the question correctly, right, this is not just multiplying things. You have to answer the question. They ask for the discount. So she just did 40 times 0.25. That is equal to the discount, which is $10. I want everybody to put that down. Now, this is why I'm fussing at some of you guys. You're going to have to think for this test. Now, what's the sale price? Yes, good job, girl. $30 is the sale price. I'm waiting. How did you get that? Well, that's your mistake. What's 100 minus 25? Oh, I got it. That's okay. I know, I know. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all, right? But now I want to show you something. Hey, eyes up, because because do I really need to do that? Or can I just say if I get a $10 discount, if it was 40, it's now going to be what? 30. You agree? There's lots of ways. Molly, come on now. This is su super important. How did I get the $10? No, the $30. Well, if you go into store and you see something for $40, and it says $10 off, right? Yeah. And I'm not trying to, I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure when you go to, into shop now, you know how to do things. That's what I'm asking. Everybody should know how to do that, right? Everybody, you good? All right, next, number two, go. Okay. Good, so you got two questions. What is the discount? Yes, you do. Okay, which is really what? $2.40, right? So now, what's the sale price? Mm hmm Who could tell me what's another way we could have figured that out? Tell me, Luca. Uh, how do you get the sales price? Yeah. Oh, uh, you could have just done 12 minus $2. Yes. Is everybody okay with that? Hey, Reese, you okay with that? Okay. Avery, you're up. Right, what's that? Right, what does that represent? What does that represent? That represents the discount, right? But it also represents the what? That is right. Because that's what that means. 50% means you pay half. All right, Tyler, number four. Okay, um, let me get there. All right, so in a bicycle store, a $500 bicycle is marked and get a 30% discount. All right, so uh, you have to do um, five, 500 times 0.3, and that would be 150. And uh, the sale price is 500 minus 150. And that would be 350. What's the fastest way to do that? Uh, for the sale price? Yes, because we're not asked about the discount this time. Oh, oh. Then what could I do? Oh, my bad. I thought they were asking. No, 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 no. Tyler, you didn't do anything wrong, buddy. I'm not. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just saying, 
how do I find the sale price since I don't need the discount? Uh, hey, hey. All right, just a minute. Go ahead, Tyler. How do I do that? Luca, um, how do I do it? Oh. Right. Oh, oh, yeah, it's 500 times 0.7. There you go. That's the answer. Since we don't care about the discount, yeah. there's no reason to do that. Yeah. Okay, KK, I'm proud of you. What's the matter? Okay, Luca, again, thank you. Okay. Uh, I am now Ashley, number five, go. Thank you. 1.0725. That was very good. That's do, do, are they asking how much tax do I have to pay? No. So it's a hundred percent plus the 7.25%. Go Ashley, tell me how much I'd have to pay. Anybody else get $41 and 83 cents. KK, are you okay with this? All right, Luca, number six. Read it. Right, so what do I have to do right off the bat? No, because that'll give you the total cost. I'm interested in just the tax. What do I have to do to find just the tax? I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah, but 29,990 times, but not 6.5, but what? Do you agree with that? Yes? Yeah. All right, multiply that. Tell me what the answer is. How much tax did you pay on it? Uh, Say it again, loud and proud. One nine. One nine four. Anybody else get that? $1,949.35 in what? What is that? That's the tax. So now what's the quickest way to find the total bill? Well, what would I do now? Luca? Uh, you just do the tax minus so the company doesn't pay, who pays the tax? To find the yeah, so what do I have to do to find the total? Yes, you add it, right? So the total bill is 29,990 plus the 1949.35. And tell me what that is. Uh, $31,939.35. Is everybody okay with that? All right, Cole, help me out. Number seven, read it. What would I do? Um, you, you, oh, you would um, be $35 times Oh yeah, you're talking about zero, no, 0 0.0775. Thank you so much. Good job. You said 35. I know you meant 34. 
So tell me what that is. That's a good job, not cool. So round to the nearest penny. That would be $2.51. $2.51. Did anybody else get that in tax? Yeah. Now, do they care about the total bill? No. Why do they not care? Because they didn't ask. They said, what's the tax? That's what I'm saying. you got to know the difference. Go. Because they're just asking for the tax, not the total bill. You with me on that? That's why I'm saying you've got to understand how to read the question. I don't care. Go. Do you hear me right? All right. That's a good job. Jackson, go. Ooh, so what am I doing here for you? I want the final cost. Come on, man. Final cost, at best, and then once they do 1,250. 1,250 times what? Times 0.15. What? What's the cost? I don't care what the discount is. What can I multiply by? If it's 15% off. Oh, 8.85. Right, multiply that bad boy by 0.85. Tell me what that is, please. Multiply. 1,000, 1,062. Anybody else get $1,062.50? Yeah. So that would be the price with the discount. Yeah. However, you still have to pay the grubby state their money, right? They're greedy. So what do I have to multiply that by? No. What am I multiplying that by? Do I care about the tax or to the total? Right, so what am I multiplying by? Where's the two? There's a tax, 6.5% tax. What am I multiplying that by? Luca, tell them what number I'm multiplying that by. Uh, by, by zero, point zero times uh, one, one thousand. Jolie, what am I multiplying by? Um, uh, one, one thousand, one, one, zero, 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 1.065 because I'm not interested in what the tax is. I just want to know what my total bill is. So type that on the calculator and tell me what that is. I'm waiting, Jolie. Somebody. Okay. It's uh, 1,100. Uh, oh. Is that correct? Yes. Cole, come on. No, 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 don't be confused. Just come on, just tell me. I don't care. The 100% plus the 6.5% is 106.5%. What? I know you are. The total. Right? If I wanted to find the total, it's the one plus the tax. If I just said, what's the tax, you would multiply by 0 0.065. Now, what most people do is they just say, okay, multiply by 0 0.065, and then what do they do with that? They add it to the price, right? Do you understand me? Are they asking for the tax here? They're not asking for the tax. 
they're asking for the total bill. That's why I did 1.065. Okay. Happy? Yeah. Jackson, you happy on that explanation? Yeah. All right, Zeb, go. Um, the Smith family went to Buffalo Bill. The bill was $43.87. Okay. Okay. Um, Jackson, what did you say? Tell me what that is then. What's the tip going to be? How do I do that? Yes, thank you. Jolie, do you understand why we just did 0.15? Yeah. Because all we're interested in the tip. What is the tip? Uh -huh. It's $6.58. $6.58. And I want you to put next to that, that's what my tip is. So what did I have to pay the restaurant uh, all together? Yes. And what did you get? Uh, I got $50. Go. It doesn't matter. It matters if it's five or more. Oh, yeah, that's if it's five or more, it goes up. If it's less than five, it stays. Um, for sales tax, that one has to like, say like zero fifteen. Yes. Okay. And then for the twenty foot one point Yes. And then the tax Well, remember again, it's, I, I'm telling you, some of you are thinking too hard. You have to look at Jolie. Is it asking just for the tax? If it's asking just for the tax, you multiply by the tax rate. But if it's asking for the total, you do the one point, whatever the tax is. All right, so your job tonight, review, and then finish 10 and what? Finish 10 and 11. Come on, guys, that was a good day. Hopefully you feel a little better. Molly, you feel a little better about it? KK? All right, Tyler, have a good day, man. All right. Bye, Mr. Stroud. See you soon, I hope. All right. Yeah, bye.